coming along. Good. Yeah, no, I'm excited. He's, uh, you know, he'll be, he's been practicing for the bowl prep, you know, and he's obviously very rusty, has not played football since the Michigan game, and even then he only played five or six snaps. So there's a lot of work to be done there. He knows that, and the goal is that if he can stay healthy, practice, get cleared for the game, he'll play. You know, how many plays that is will be determined during this prep, but I definitely want to get him out there, you know, and, and get him running around and, and then, um, you know, that moves some guys around, which will be fine. Um, but it gives us a little bit more depth, and and I really want to get get him out there for this this opportunity. Last one for me: Did you recruit Farrell or Wilkins or Lawrence or uh, Austin Bryant? I did. Okay. Yep, we were a part of those. Yep. Okay. Yep. They uh, obviously they chose Clemson over a lot of other schools, but no, I was involved in some of that. And you know, as you know, in recruiting Notre Dame's not for everybody, and. We're located in a little different direction than, than a lot of other schools, and academics are challenging here. And um, but no, they're great players, and, and I was in part of, for a short period of time the recruitment. I was talking with Jerry and asked him, you know, you're not used to having this much time between games, so how do you manage where your focus goes? And he said, it's easy. Our coaches do it for yeah, us, which yeah. is the right answer. But yeah. with these guys, I mean, how much of coaching is not just preparing them physically and schematically, but also saying, this is where your focus should be right. away from being a football player and a student. This is what you should be doing with your free time during yeah. this much downtime. Well, they do need direction, you know, so they have a lot of things going on. They're working two full-time jobs with academics, with football. And so what Coach Kelly's done during this bowl prep, and it's been, it's been great. You know, we've, we've broken it down. We've gone back to spring ball where it's all fundamentals, all right? So then that takes away the emphasis of Clemson, the opponent, the big picture. It's literally, hey, go back to stance, go back to get-offs, go back to blow delivery. All of your technique fundamentals that you work on for 15 practice spring ball, that's what we're doing in the first three or four practices. Then it goes into fall camp. Now it's more banging, more physical, a little bit of scrimmaging, taking guys to the ground. Now it's you know, more about the scheme and, 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 and um, executing in a part of one of 11. Um, and then, you know, the next phase is then it's Clemson prep, you know. So we've broken it down for them, and in doing that, um, they also have academics going on. So last week was all academics. So during those periods of time, it was less about putting a lot on their brain in terms of football. It was literally, let's go on the field, let's bang, let's hit, let's get off the field, you go back to academics. So coach has done a really good job, I think, of breaking it down and explaining it to the guys, and they've taken ownership of that. And then also there's that level of excitement. This is the this is the the most different I've seen a team in bowl prep than any other team because this is not a bowl game. This is the playoffs. Like these guys are excited for this opportunity, and so they come in having just been smacked in the face for academics and testing and all that, and they want football, which is a lot different than than normal years where it's okay. This is punishment. I got to go to practice now and you know get ready for you know whatever bowl game we're playing. And now it's the playoffs, and they're excited for this. So. Um, yeah, it's been a little different.